Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with the top five winners of our inspirational Discord contest named walk with the animals so this contest was all about walk through habitat so i'm very excited to see who has won we have seven winners so we have some shared places uh, so we're going to look at seven awesome builds today so without further talking let's jump into it so the fifth place goes to pally raven uh with the turtle island and let's have a look here because this one looks very, very detailed. Wait, is this a turtle? As in a turtle turtle? Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? This is a paw. Oh, that is so creative. Oh my god, that is so cool. I love this. Okay, let's go and uh, go in. Well, as you can hear, we have some capuchin monkeys in here as well. Oh my god, this is just so creative. I love this idea. This is absolutely fantastic. Wait, is there a ball? A snowball <laughs> rolling down? So, there are capuchin monkeys already walking around here. Are there seriously also the tortoise? You have a cave? That's amazing! So there should be also tortoises around here, or maybe in the cave? Look at all these cute capuchin monkeys! Oh, this is so cool. I love how you made this. Look at them. I didn't know there were more monkeys eating from that ice block. That's really cool. Oh, there are so many cool things in here. Oh, there is a tortoise. Aww. This is so adorable. I love it. Oh, they're all sleeping in here. There are some babies. I'm sorry. I'm 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 getting off track. <laughs> I'm literally walking through the habitat right now. This is insanely good, though. I love it. This is so well made. So when we go down right over here, uh, oh man, I hear waterfalls. Oh, there's a waterfall right over here. Look at that. <gasps> I love it how you made this with these aquatic rocks. That's looking so good. These waterfalls right over here. That's gorgeous. That is so pretty. So this is the entrance. So let's have a look in these caves, okay? Oh, I love how you use these logs as well. And there's some butterflies. Oh, wait. This is just a cave right over here. I thought maybe it would go to the right, uh, to the left side. Let's go in here. Uh, oh my, it's super, what? <laughs> it's going super low. You're kidding me. You have a food shop. Just a momento. Wh what? It's deeper? You're kidding me. You what? Exhibits. <gasps> this one. Oh my god, I love that one. That is looking amazing. You have so many exhibits right over here. I oh, love it. I love the decorations right over here with the bamboo. This is looking insanely good. So heavily detailed. I love it. People can sit right over here. We have another level here. I can't believe... Oh my god, look at that. Oh, that's so good. Okay, we can go down right over... Like, normally I would expect like an underwater viewing or so, but we don't have animals for an underwater... What? This is beautiful. I love these rope things. These nets. This is amazing. Awesome work. Oh, I love this. It's like a little kid's playground. Oh, that is so creative. This is so inspiring. Oh my god, <laughs> look at this. <laughs> I love it. This is so well made. Oh my goodness. This is insanely good. Oh, did we miss anything? Okay, no, we have toilets and we have just a momento. So we now go back up right over here. Oh, wow. I really am impressed. If this is the first entry, the fifth place, a shared fifth place, I should say, then, oh my God, I can't wait to see the rest. But this is so creative. I've never seen anything like this 
earlier in the game. I love this one. You can download this one yourself as well with the link down in the description. Don't forget to leave a like at the uh, workshop item if you enjoy. And of course on the video as well if you enjoy this video. But really, really well done, Pala Raven. I really hope I say that name right. Congratulations for becoming the fifth place. So the shared fifth place, the other place goes to Corvidius. I do also hope I pronounced that name right with your Malagasy Forest Lemur walkthrough. So obviously we're going to see some lemurs. Let's go and jump inside. I'm super curious to see because this is, ugh, I love this airlock. Or like, I don't know if you call it an airlock, but at least a thing to make sure that the lemurs would not be able to escape basically well ish <laughs> oh man okay we have a lemur forest we have info in toilets and we have the baobab juice bar oh let's go to the lemur forest first oh my god look at these look at these canopies oh, those are great oh, i love those oh super inspiring oh i love this little staircase you made this is so good Oh, I love these fences too, by the way. That works super well with like these rope thingies and these from the South America pack. Oh, I love that. That is great. So we have the Red Ruff Lemur and the ring tilt Lemur in this habitat. Oh, this is looking fantastic. I love it. The viewing is great from here. We have some educational signs. Oh, this is an entrance for the keeper to get in. Oh, I love that. Oh, we, have, we even have an animal talking point. That's awesome. We also have a feeding plate on this side. Oh, this is great. I love this. Oh, I love that little detail with like the rope right over here so they can walk from one side to the other side. This is fantastic. Oh, they also have this little bridge. Oh, I love the rock work as well on the back. This is looking really great. Awesome work. Oh my gosh, I love it. This is beautiful. Just look at it. Oh, the view is so good. Oh, I, I really think you paid attention to all the viewing points from what site you're looking at this. I, I love it. It's really looking well. Um, so right over here, we have the juicy bar thingy. <gasps> Look at those. Oh, you can sit down right over here. That's so cute. I never use these picnic bench, but they actually look super adorable with these little uh, chairs. I don't know how you call these stools. Not entirely sure. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love all these um, cloth, how you use those. That is really nice. These awnings. Oh, this is looking great. Okay, let's go back. And we go back down here. What do we have here? Oh, I love this box as well. It's so simple, but it looks so well. Oh, all these lemurs. What a great habitat. Super inspiring. Very creative and detailed. Like, very heavily detailed. I love it. It is looking amazing. So we have some information right over here. Another uh, sign and some signs right over there. And people that can sit down right over here. Oh, look, ATMs. <laughs> I love it. Vending machines. This is really very impressive work. I really love the... See, this is another viewing point. It looks insanely good. You really paid attention to the... Why are these people all standing still here? Oh, they're watching the animals, I guess. Uh, but you really paid attention to how high you put those and uh, where to put them. It looks insanely good from every angle. I love it. Really well done, Corvidius. Congratulations for becoming the fifth place. Really well done. I'm very impressed by your work. Thank you for participating. Really well done. And again, if you want to download this one yourself, don't forget to leave a like. And the links are in the description down below, of course, to check this one out yourself. So a shared fourth place goes to Sartiria with the Treasure Cove. So I'm super excited to see what kind of animals we will get in here because that is not uh, hidden away in the title. <laughs> so without further talking, let's just go in. 
Ahoy mates! I see Capuchin Monkey! So it might be. Many years ago, Blacktail and his crew ventured to the hidden cove to find treasure, but upon arrival, they were cursed by the witch to roam the cove with their black tails forever. Please keep bags closed because they have not lost their tricks and thievery. Do you dare to seek their ghostly ship? Oh my god, I'm super excited already <laughs> about this one. Oh, this is looking amazingly good! Oh my god, I love this cave! This is so good. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go in. Do not feed. Oh my god, here we go. <gasps> I see a giant ant eater. And I hear capuchin monkeys. <gasps> oh, we have a waterfall right over here. Oh, this is awesome. Can people actually walk here? Yes, they can. Oh, this is so good. Oh, I love this. Look at that! This building is their shelter, and we have more waterfalls on the sides. Oh, this is looking great! More waterfalls on top right over here. We have some butterflies and, and the shipwreck. Oh my god, that's so good! Oh my god, look at this skull! Oh my god, you also made a skull! This is so good! You have lights in here to light up their eyes. Oh, I love this. Just look at that. Wait, I hear... Aww! Giant ant eater in the water. Oh my god, I love this one. I love these fences you did as well here on the outside. That is just lovely. That is looking so well, isn't it? Oh, I love it. This is so creative. I want to see the building a little bit more close. So many different pieces you use, like the African pillars. And just uh, the normal climbing frames and arctic pieces. Wait, is that... you kidding me? You just use an animal talking point? Wait, can people actually stand there? Wait, we have to check that out. Wait, is that a cave? Just look how pretty this is looking. <gasps> the amount of details and a V of access. It works so well. Okay, so we have another area right over here where you can walk. There is some... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those animals will get sick soon. You need some employees in here. Okay, so we... we guys can actually walk around here. I was distracted by the, by the audio. I love the audio in the game. It's so tropical. Oh, man. This is great. I love your rock work as well. Fantastic job. So, wait. This is a dead end. Uh, so they cannot walk around there, but we can walk back here. So let's go through right over here. Oh, this is so beautiful. And the, it, it's just... Oh, the theme, it just works so well in the game. Like a pirate theme. I love this. This is brilliant. So also, like, using these ropes and stuff to make sure that the capuchin monkey is not able to walk here, I'm guessing. <gasps> Look at this! Oh my god, so many details! What? I love it! I'm just speechless. It's just so good. I just don't know what to say. Love all these things on your roof and the ropes. This is just looking brilliant. And they can... Can we now go... Yes, we can. <gasps> oh, this is amazing. Just look at the viewing right over here. Onto the ship and the, the cave. The skeleton head. Wow. Really, really impressive work. I really don't know what else to say. This is absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations for becoming the fourth shared place, Sartiria. Really, really well done. I'm very impressed by this work. If you want to download this one yourself, please go and check it out in the description down below and leave a like at the workshop item because it definitely deserves that intention and, and go and check it out yourself because this is really, really awesome. Thank you so much for participating. Participating and thank you for this awesome inspiring build and congratulations for your shared fourth place So another shared fourth place goes to Helen with into the jungle again I have no idea what kind of animals that we can expect, but I'm super excited to see this This is already looking super promising. I love the modern look with like this Australian wood pieces and stuff This is with a tropical bio, it looks so good. I'm super excited to go in here. Oh, I love it that it's going up right over here. 
in an angle. Oh, I love this. Okay, let's go inside. We have into the jungle, meet our animals. So we have another a giant anteater and capuchin monkey habitat right over here. And we already have, oh, it's all indoors. That is going to be awesome. Look at the details right over here. I love how you use the signs as well. And just in general, how you use all these wooden planks right over here. Is this open or is this glass? Oh, this is open. I don't see glass. This is really beautiful work. Oh, love it. Okay, let's go inside. Awesome. Oh, I love how what you did here again with the roofing. That is so creative. I think there's one box. I hear some boxing noises. Oh, but there are some capuchin monkeys. Oh, look at that. And they can climb into this pillar. Over the ropes, over the vines right over here. Oh, we have some water. This is beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love the, the rock work you did here. And the waterfall. That is looking great. Oh, I like this as well. So the capuchin monkey can eat right over here and the people can stand around it. Oh, that's so cool. And then over here, this is the area where the keeper can come in probably, I'm guessing. Oh, this is beautiful. Very, very lovely work. Oh, this is really cool. I really like the waterfall. It's so pretty. And we have some... I don't see the giant ant eater. Am I going insane? Is there another area? Or... Are there giant ant eaters in here? I really don't see them. I'm guessing they're walking around here. I mean, if you go into a real zoo, you cannot always see the animals either. They do their best in the zoo, but it doesn't always happen. I'm curious if, if I'm missing an area right over here. Um, let's have a look. Oh, people are actually also looking into the habitat from here. There doesn't seem to be any other area. I, I'm pretty sure that there are some giant anteaters in here as well, but we're just not seeing them. <laughs> but really, really well done, Helen. Definitely very inspiring work. And the outside is just fantastic. I love Love, love the shape of the building, the signs right over here, and how you use the foliage. Definitely incredible work. If you want to check this one out yourself, it's in the description down below. Go and check it out and leave a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, definitely congratulations, Helen, for this awesome build and for becoming the shared fourth place. So the third place goes to... Noxty, I hope I say that right, with your Nihonzeru Gardens and Hot Spring. I am super excited to see this one because this one is in an Asian theme. I really, I think I'm gonna love it. So let's just go in here. Oh wow, <gasps> we have the Japanese macaque. Oh, I love that. Wait, what? That looks like sand, but it's not sand. What? Oh my god, this is so cool! Wait, are, is that one actually eating? Is that like... No, there's no fair watch. Oh my goodness! This is so pretty! Oh, I love this! This is absolutely fantastic! The amount of details... Okay, we're gonna save this one. Unbox. There we go. The amount of de this is this is the the Asian garden I'm looking for as inspiration for my city zoo. This is beautiful. Oh my gosh! Okay, so they are able to climb from one rock to the other rock. Oh my goodness! I love the amount of details you used in here. This is gorgeous. I love the lanterns in the trees. This is so good. Oh my god, I'm definitely going back here soon for more inspiration for my city zoo. I absolutely love this. And we're, we're just in the beginning. We're just at the, the start. It's so good. Oh my goodness. All right, so, so, oh, this bridge as well. That is just gorgeous. Really well hidden away with like the Asian planks and stuff. Look at that, they can, there are so many different levels. There's a water level right over here. <gasps> Look at that waterfall. Oh my God, that is looking so good. Wow. 
I'm so impressed. This is amazing. I love it. Oh, you made your own water pipe. Oh, that is just insane. This is gorgeous. I can walk here for ages. All these monkeys over here. <laughs> People can eat their heart out while walking around here with all these Japanese macaques. Look how pretty. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. This is ridiculously good. Like, oh my goodness. All these... What? I just... I'm speechless again. You guys, the, 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 the level of you guys in this contest is insanely high. The amount of creativity is insanely high. Um, what? I'm so impressed. This is just beautiful. And this is only the third place? I can't wait to see number two and number one. That waterfall? Oh my goodness. This is just so impressive. Okay, let's go here first. This is insane. I wonder how long it took you to build this in, in this amount of details. This is beautiful. And remember, this is also in... Oh, I love this. This is also in the description down below. If you want to just walk around here yourself, I highly recommend you to do so. This is just gorgeous. Oh my god, that is just a waterfall going from that. Oh, I love this. I want to steal everything of what you're doing right over here. I think we're gonna go down on that path. I wanna steal everything for my city zoo. Redo whole city zoo and use this as inspiration for it. This is absolutely amazing. Fantastic work. Oh, I love the waterfalls. This is just insane. Just look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just don't know what to say. I'm so impressed. I'm really so impressed. A hot spring. Really? Oh my gosh. This is just awesome. So they can walk down here. Oh man. This is insane. We have an elevator. Is that really? Oh my god. There's more. There is more. Oh, your interior is as good as your out uh, exterior. Oh my gosh. A Japanese tree frog. Oh, we have exhibits. Oh my gosh. I love this. There's there's an elevator for real. <laughs> you kidding me? Wait, do we have do we really have another flooring? I don't know. I don't know. I don't think so. Oh wait, we're just here. Oh my gosh. We have um this is definitely one of my most favorite ones. This is so ins extremely good. I love it. I'm, I'm just deadly impressed. No Nox, Nox T. I really hope I don't ruin your name. This is so impressive. Really. Congratulations for becoming the third place in this contest. Really, I'm super impressed by this. Definitely, everyone, go and check this one out with the link in the description down below and leave a like at that workshop item to support Noxty. I really am impressed. Congratulations for becoming the third place. So the second place goes to Lucas Santos with the Orchidarium. I am not entirely sure if I said it right, but congratulations for becoming the second place. I can hear the flamingos already, so let's just go inside. But oh, I love this statue you've made here. And these fountains, that is looking really pretty. Let's go inside. Um, is it an indoor habitat for the flamingos? Oh, wow. Again, so much detail. Look at these flamingo signs. Oh, I love this. We have the office right over here. Is that the entrance? I guess so, but let's have a look right over here first. <gasps> the amount of details you added. This is awesome. You can't tell how much detail you have on the outside and how big it is. I could not tell how big this is. This already is way bigger than I thought it would be. Oh, we have some lockers, oh, a stroller zone. Oh, this is just incredible. 
love the flamingo signs that you made here. Okay, let's just go inside right over here. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see the habitat, what you did here. Oh, look at this, how pretty. Oh, this is amazing already. Oh, people can sit down right over here, have a little rest. Look at these planters. The details are absolutely amazing. This is so inspiring. What? This is awesome. Oh, I love this. Look how creative. Oh my god. That is extremely cool. Oh, I see Flamingo. What? Oh, I love this. Okay. Oh my god. Look at that. This is awesome. I've never seen anything like this. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, for the light. I love this that you use this for the roofing to bring in some natural light. That is working so well. This is so awesome. I love how you use the waterfalls from the aquatic pack. This is insane. I love the plants, how you use those in the water as well. The walls look fantastic. This, I'm just so impressed by this. It's so simple, but it works so well. And it's such a cool feature. You may nest. Oh my God, are you kidding? That's awesome. I love that. Oh my gosh, there's it's so big. Look at this. Another feeder right over here. Oh wow. This is so good. You use a lot of the V of Xs to bring in some, some atmosphere. I love that you use those. So there's this little shelter area on this side as well. People can walk underneath there. Walk around here. Look at these fountains. The walls. I love it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, we also have a tortoise. Aw. They're so adorable, aren't they? Oh, can kids... Kids can walk underneath here. They love these kind of things. And we do too. I really love it. You made your own custom trees here, didn't you? Amazing. Aw. This is really, really well done. Oh, look at this wall as well. I love this. You just put those plants on the side. Of course, that is so genius. Oh, this is just wonderful. We have a talking point right over here with a food chest. Oh my God, that's so cool. I love this. Really impressive work. Just look at that. This is awesome. Really, really well done. Lucas Santos. This is so impressive. And if you want to check this one out yourself, go and check out the link in the description and leave a like at this workshop item because it definitely deserves it. Congratulations, Lucas Santos, with your Orchidarium for becoming the second place. This is just awesome. And the first place goes to Nathanak with his Sanctum of Selva. Congratulations for becoming the first place. I'm just super excited to go in here. Well, I have no idea for disabled people. Uh, we can go down there. We can go in here. We can take the stairs, maybe? I don't know. Let's go and take the ramp. Let's go and take the ramp. Look how pretty. <gasps> oh my gosh. This is looking so beautiful already. Oh my god, this is so promising for the rest. We can already look inside here. <gasps> oh my god, there's a lot of details in here as well. I can feel it. Oh, it's it's actually quite hard to <laughs> go down here with my controls. Uh, I'm a, I apologize. Okay, uh, there we go. There we go. Entrance, exit. Uh, let's, let's go over here. <laughs> I'm guessing that we should go over here. So we go through the doors. <gasps> oh, wow. We have flamingos. Oh my gosh. There is a waterfall. Oh my god, that is looking beautiful. So, uh, wh wh where do we go? Wait, let's just go this side. We can go through here, staff only, so we don't take that route. <laughs> Oh my god, look at this. Oh, this is gorgeous. I love what you did here with all the windows and stuff. Bringing in that natural light is working super well here. It's gorgeous. 
I think we're only having flamingos in here. But man, look the amount of details. The waterfall. This is so pretty. I just want to see. Oh, this is a really low water section. And we have a waterfall right over here. And then a waterfall on the top. They can go in here. Oh, man. These flamingos are so lucky living in this beautiful habitat. We have a tortoise as well. Oh, my gosh. I love this. Look how cute this is looking with this waterfall in the back. Hello, you. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. It's so beautiful. So they can also walk over that little edge, I'm guessing. Are you? Yes, you are. There we go. Oh, this is so cute. We have a little section right over here. Oh man, this is looking amazing. Nathan Nag. I love it. Wait, what is this habitat? I can't remember. Oh, there's okapis! Oh, that's so lovely. I love the okapis. Oh, I did not expect those to be in here. I love that. Oh, I love how you use those signs right over here in the plants to decorate these walls and dividing the habitats. This is so inspiring, Nathan. Like, I love it so much. Really, really well done. I want to go and see if we can... Can we walk here? Okay, I'm, I'm cheating right over here. But there's actually another level where you can walk. Oh my gosh. Oh, you can actually look down right over here. <laughs> oh, this is so cool, Nathan. Oh, wow. I'm so impressed. This waterfall is so pretty. I love how you use these roots and stuff. Fantastic work. Beautiful work. Really, really well done. So we can go on right over here. I'm just curious. This is the middle entrance then, I'm guessing. Yes, it is. Oh, that's amazing. So, uh, and then if we go to stairs... Then, where do we end up? I'm just curious. Oh, okay, so the others... Oh, wow. Brilliant! Oh, look at that! Oh my god, there's a chandelier. I oh, love it. Oh, this is also really well done. Such great work, Nathan Egg. This is really... Did you actually add squeezed in wood? Is this a normal stairs? Oh, you switch stairs with... What? How did you do this? There's wood. There's this black color. I'm confused, but it looks great. The staircase really looks awesome as well. Really, really well done. Oh my god, just look at that. <gasps> wow. So impressive, Nathan Egg. Oh my gosh, really, really well done. Congratulations for becoming the first place in this, this Walk with the Animals contest. I am super impressed by everyone, each and everyone. Like, I think all the builds that we have seen in this video should have been on the first place. I think they're all one by one fantastic fantastic builds i really can't say anything else do let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite of all these seven winners of the top five i'm super impressed a big thank you to my contest managers for organizing this contest this may be the last contest as of right now but i secretly do hope that they will keep organizing some contests because i'm really really enjoying this it's it's so amazing but that is up to them so if you want to participate in more contests do let me know in the comments down below of course leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe of course if you haven't already and if you want to see more planet zoo content i definitely have you covered on the channel so yeah thank you all so much for watching a big congrats again for all the winners really impressive work super inspiring super creative thank you so so much for everyone for participating and for sending in your amazing work and inspiring everyone here on the channel thank you thank you thank you and i really hope to see you guys all in the next one bye guys